What's going on family? Welcome to Discover Flavor and today we're making North Carolina dip fried chicken. Man. Now this is a dish that I learned while living in the Carolinas and one that I ate often. All right, it definitely put some pounds on me. <laughs> so check it out. But before we go any further, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell so you're notified each and every time we post. And I appreciate you. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean our chicken. We're gonna separate the drum from the flat on the wings. It's as simple as that. Cut the little skin right there and you'll find the joint and you can slice right through. My chicken has been thoroughly washed. If you don't have lemon or lime, you can use vinegar. Okay, clean your chicken, brothers and sisters. Clean your chicken, family. <laughs> now, while I'm cutting this chicken, don't forget to pop over to Instagram and check out Discover Flavor TV, where you'll find a myriad of different recipes that you may not see here on my YouTube. Finish up by prepping our drumsticks. Let's clean up our mess. Let's go ahead and add them to a bowl so we can start our seasoning. Now we have our Lowry seasoning sauce. Now we're gonna season these things liberally. Okay, we ain't gonna shy on none of the seasoning. All right, have our garlic powder. Then we're gonna get in there with some black pepper. We have our Everglades chicken and fish seasoning. This stuff right here is amazing. This stuff right here is good, all right? And last but not least, Got our sweet heat. Now this is made by Altries. If you fry chicken or fish, you know about their breader. Now we're gonna hit it with a little kosher salt. A couple sprinkles of that. We're gonna give it a mix. All right, make sure you mix it in underneath the skin if you can. Get all that flavor mixed into that chicken. And we're gonna let it sit Okay, let, that, let, let the seasoning sit on the chicken for about, about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. Get it nice and mixed. Now we're gonna prep our flour. So here we have our flour. We have cornstarch. And we have some baking powder. Exact measurements will be in the description. Let's go ahead and give that a good mix. And we're gonna season this up. We're gonna hit it again with some Lowry's. We're gonna use the same spices. The Everglades chicken and fish seasoning. That sweet heat. And we're gonna hit it with some oregano. We're gonna throw some marjoram in there. I know about margarine. Some rub sage and some crushed basil. Give that a mix. And we're gonna go ahead and toss our chicken right into the flour. You don't need no dredging station. As you can see, I, I pulled back the skin, so underneath that thing, it'll get nice and crispy, y'all. Okay? We're just gonna flour it up, season the flour, and that's all we need. So we got the drumsticks. Now we have the flats and the small drumettes from the wing. We'll do 
the same thing. Now, I like to fry. I like to fry my chicken in peanut oil. It has a high heat point. Gives the food a lot of flavor. It's nice. Okay, so if you can, heat you up some peanut oil. Now I got one of the largest cast iron skillets I can find. All right, and I'm gonna fit all the pieces of the chicken in here. Y'all seen all the chicken I cleaned. I'm gonna fit it all in here. It's gonna cook at the same time. It's gonna cook evenly. It's gonna be beautiful. All right. So with this cast iron skillet, I could do a lot of batches of chicken at once. Get, we can get them all in there swimming together. Look at that. So after they brown on one side, let's go ahead and give them a flip. They got some beautiful, nice color on there. Now, when they reach the internal temperature of 165, we can go ahead and take them out of that grease. Look how beautifully brown they are. Wanna look good? They look good, man. All right, for those that have struggles frying chicken, there's nothing to it, family. Just take your time, man, and, and, and do it with love. Do it with some love, man. Put some, put some, put some love in that thing. Guarantee it make it taste better. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the chicken from this heat. All right, beautifully golden brown. Take out the drumsticks a little last. Okay, all, all of the chicken has reached the internal temperature that we want, 165. Now we're gonna make our sauce. We have Worcestershire sauce. To that, we're gonna add our apple cider vinegar. We have our molasses substitute, which is just brown sugar with a little water mixed in. Texas Pete hot sauce. Gotta have the Texas Pete. Made in the, in the Carolinas, North Carolina to be exact. We're gonna add our sweet heat seasoning in there. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic powder right into that thing as well. And we're just gonna toss our chicken right into it. So we have our chicken, still hot. Still hot, fresh out the grease. Okay. And we're gonna pour that sauce right over the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and give that thing a toss. Making sure that everything is mixed in and incorporated as we need it to be. Okay. I'm gonna use the sauce again uh, at the end as well. All right, let's see what we're working with. Look at that. Juice is just rolling down. Steam still coming from the hot chicken, fresh out the grease. Now mind you, this stays crispy. Look at the steam still coming from it. We got us a nice little platter here. And we're just gonna plate that up. Now you can accompany this with anything you want. I made the most amazing spoon bread. You guys check that recipe out coming soon, as well as some snap peas. So we're just gonna go ahead and get those on a plate. Chicken is 
still piping hot. The sauce is just giving it so much flavor. And there you have it, family. North Carolina dip fried chicken. All right, if y'all want a plate, let me know now. But thank you for checking out Discover Flavor. I hope y'all enjoyed the recipe. I'll definitely catch y'all next time. Peace.